Welcome everyone to more of Tomb Raider 1. And here is more of this level. Take a step back, run and jump across. I got the first le no, lead bar, so if you want to know how to get the first lead bar, watch the previous video. Next you want to run up these ramps here. I also got the first two secrets in the previous video, so if you need the secrets, watch the, pre the previous part to find out how to get them. Run, jump, and grab this large health pack. Now, for these breakaway tiles, underneath them, if you fall down, that'll take you back to where you got the first secret. You want to be careful you don't fall down there. It's another return path. And there's a lot of return paths in this level. Slide down this slope here, and for return paths, it's a lot of backtracking. Now, and speaking of return paths, down below is basically where, from where you start from. Shoot the lion that's here, that is making his way on over here. Shoot him before he gets to you. <clears throat> Carefully don't fall down because you have to run all the way around to get back here. Now it's close because I almost fell off the edge there. Run down this way, and there's another return path. Run, jump across. Be careful while we'll trying to make your way, your jumps on over here. Swim in this pool. There's also a crocodile that's here, but you can avoid the crocodile if you're having trouble trying to shoot him. Just checking to see if I, nope. I thought I got him, but I missed him. Sometimes you have to jump back in the pool to get his attention. If you want to get him. And run, jump onto the roof here, shoot the bats, and get the lead bar. Now very carefully drop down there are lions down below. And you want to be very careful you drop down there. Now to get down here, I have to be very careful. Two lead bars down, only two more left to find. Only one more left to find. After you find all three lead bars, next is to head to the maze room and turn the bars of lead into gold. There's also the third and final secret of the level as well too. You can look far away in the distance to know which levers to pull. And to find out if you're pulling the levers the right way or the other way around. And sometimes sometimes it's hard to make the wrong mistake <clears throat> if you never played this level before. If you never played this game.
There we go. Now the door is open. <coughs> now, for this room that I say for last, <coughs> be very careful. And walk carefully around the spikes. Now the ledge is basically up up there on that ledge is basically where where the to find the last lead bar. But also be careful while making your way to the opening in there. There's a gorilla. And you want to be careful you don't, that the gorilla does not push you off the edge. You want to prevent him from doing that. Pull and move this movable block. There's a switch to pull. <coughs> and the switch, basically what it does is that it will ri rise the, these um, dark blue tiles that you see around these spikes up into the air. And to make your way across the lead, the platforms to that ledge to, to the lead bar. Pull the switch that's back here to rise the platforms up into the air around the spikes. And if you look back here, now all the platforms are basically rise up into the air. Now it's time to make your way <coughs> across the platforms to that lead bar. <coughs> also be careful. Now I recommend that you save your game here, which I'm going to do right now. That way if you die, you can reload your game at the last save point. Be very careful while making your hops on over these platforms. You want to be very cautious, which I'm trying to be. And you never know what could go wrong while making your way on over these platforms to this. That was close. You never know what could go wrong. Now, I know a lot of you may not find this room to be the hardest room for this puzzle room, but to me, I find it to be the hardest. Now, very carefully, whoa, that was close. Very carefully, make your way into the room up ahead. I'm also going to save my game here as well, too. And be careful that the, that the gorilla does not push you off the edge. I'm going to use my shotgun to get rid of this guy. Be careful not to be so close to the edge. And I got him. <coughs> In this room, if you're playing the computer version, I recommend you save your game quite often. Take a step back, run and jump. Very carefully walk through the spikes here. Now I'm gonna save my game again here. That way if I die, I won't have in the next part, I won't have to reload back here. And when the levels become harder and harder by the minute, I recommend you save your game quite often. Now that I found all three lead bars, <coughs> now I'm going to go into the mice room and turn the three bars of lead into gold. <clears throat> now if you haven't pulled that switch which opens the gate to the garden, this path down here on the right is where you go to find that switch to open the gate to the garden. And the garden is the one room I have not gone into, plus the minus room. Head down this way to shoot the gorillas that's in this room. There they are. There's now you can get the secret first before you go into the mice room or you can do what I'm doing which is by going to the mice room first and to get the secret afterwards. Jump and grab this ledge here to pick up the large health pack. I'm going to end the video right here, and the next part is where I'll finish up this level and to turn the three bars of lead into gold. So I'll see you in the next part.